Hi, my name is Ben with Dream Factory, and in this short screencast, I'm going to introduce Dream Factory and show you what you need to know to get started. Dream Factory is an open source REST API backend for mobile, web, and IoT. Dream Factory in this diagram is the software in orange. So it's a runtime platform, you install it on a server, and it does three really key things. It auto-generates REST APIs for a whole bunch of different data sources. It provides comprehensive scripting with JavaScript and PHP, so you can customize behavior on the server, implement your business logic. And then it provides robust security controls for role-based access control, single sign-on, Active Directory integration, OAuth, and a whole bunch more. So with Dream Factory, you securely connect to your data sources, which are here on the bottom, and then you just write your applications. This really reduces your complexity a lot. You get a lot of reusability with APIs, so you don't have to write custom APIs by hand every single time you're developing a new application. Really improves your security and makes your development process a lot faster. So let's hop into a quick demo. So when you come to Dream Factory, you'll log in as an administrator. You'll create your account, and you can look at the Home tab here. There are a bunch of resources. There are some example applications here, links to resources. And what I want to cover quickly is just four brief areas. I'm going to talk about applications first, then I'll talk about services, API docs, and then I'll finish with roles. So an important concept is apps. You can have as many applications as you want running on the Dream Factory platform. And those applications can be web applications that are hosted on your own server or hosted within the Dream Factory server environment. Or they can be mobile applications or just IoT apps that are ac accessing endpoints. Each application has an API key, and each application can use any of the services that are available here, which we'll talk about next. You can import applications. There are a bunch of examples. And you can easily create an application and, of course, have as many as you want. The next thing I'll talk about is services. This is the heart of the system. You can have as many services as you need. We call services is really synonymous with REST APIs. So here's a list of all of the services available. Dream Factory actually comes with a built-in SQL database, as well as SQLite, as well as MongoDB. So those services are automatically available, meaning that you have REST APIs without doing anything for both SQL and NoSQL. You can also connect to any type of database that you already have or that you want to set up yourself. So this is the catalog of options for connecting and automatically generating a REST API. Class, classic example is a SQL database. Select that, go into config, pick the database that I want, put in my connection string and credentials, and Dream Factory securely stores those credentials and provides automatically docked, documented APIs that are ready to use. There are a bunch of different options, LDAP, NoSQL and SQL databases, file storage, email, push notifications, OAuth providers here, and you can also connect to remote web services, whether those are REST web services or SOAP web services. And lastly, you can write your own custom APIs if you need to do that as well, and then get all of the security on top. Every API that you create here has complete security wrapped around it. The API docs are very easy to understand. Every service that you've set up shows up in the list. So I've got a DB, MongoDB, DynamoDB, S3. And when you click on all of these, these APIs are automatically generated. The system does this for you. So for a SQL database, you have schema, you've got your tables, you've got CRUD operations, you've got stored procedures and functions and so forth. And you can easily explore and interact with your live data before you even write your application. So if I want to just browse this, I will see the objects or the tables in my database. And I can run filters, limits, sort order, groups, offsets, all of the classic things that you do in an API are available. And I'll show a quick example of that. I can put in a limit, let's say. And let's say that I want to get all related objects by foreign key for that particular context table. And I can do that, and I'll have the request shown and the response shown in either JSON or XML format. So the next part well, that I'll show is scripts. So for simple operations, you don't need any scripts, but sometimes you want to implement some logic on the server. So in yellow, 
<clears throat> here, this indicates that there is a script on some table object in the database. All of the APIs are exposed here, and you can add scripts really to anything that you want from an API perspective. So here I'll look at a database, and on the post, uh, on the both pre-process and post-process, meaning that I'm going to insert some records with an API call and I'm going to get a JSON response back, I can implement some code. So here I'm doing a simple field validation with JavaScript. Here I'm using the V8 JavaScript engine, which comes built in with Dream Factory. I could also use Node.js or PHP to implement my scripts. And here on the post or the response, I kick off a push notification uh, after a record is inserted. So these are some simple examples that show the concept of server-side scripting. Now lastly, I'll talk about roles very quickly. So you can have as many roles as you want. Roles are uh, govern access control for your end users who are accessing applications. So here's an example. I create this iOS address book application. This application is going to be for users that access this particular app. And this app um, has some tables that it relies upon but I do not want to grant access to my end users to any other services that are in the system. So I want to carefully protect other objects in the database and other objects that are in completely different services. So by default, roles have access to nothing, and then you grant access explicitly in this UI. So here all of the services are available, and this uh, particular app requires four objects, and I grant HTTP access by these verbs, and I specify whether I want API or script access to those, and that gives table access to those particular users with that role. Each user has can have different roles for each application, so very flexible. You can also do record level access control. So here I'm going to say that only the creators of a record can edit, delete, read his or her own records, and you can add as many of these logical criteria as you want. So that's Dream Factory in a nutshell. You also have uh, a list of admins, you have a list of end users, you have control over schema and data. So any remote database that you hook up as well as the local databases are available. You have configuration options here and packages which let you export and move your apps and your services and everything between uh, different instances of Dream Factory. So lastly, um, this was a quick demo, so I wanna show a couple different places where you can learn more. So if you go to dreamfactory.com slash resources, you can learn more about um, the product. There's extensive documentation here, some PDF guides that go into more detail about the architecture and the security, some short videos. There's a community forum where you can ask questions, and there are a bunch of example applications as well. You should also check out our features page. This talks about uh, Dream Factory that we covered here, the open source product. It also talks about our enterprise product which is really for managing Dream Factory instances across development, test, and production. So when you're doing real deployments, you will want to use the enterprise product. And then lastly, we have subscriptions. So if you're interested, we provide, of course, free 14 days of support. You can also provide, uh, sorry, um, buy development subscriptions and production subscriptions as well uh, to support you. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful and good luck with your software development with Dream Factory. Thanks.